Chapter 1 Banking Theories This is the first chapter in our curriculum And we will start with the first item What is the bank? Bank in general Financial institution with, with main activity to make loans and to borrowers and collect deposits from savers. So, in general, any bank perform two important functions accepting deposits and providing loans or lending, and invest the same for investors. Another example or another function for the bank that bank bridges the gap between savers and investors. So in this case, the, fi the bank financial intermediary between two units, surplus unit and shortage unit. So this is the first point definition of banks. The rule of banks. In general, because there is a conflict of interests or, or conflict on uh, goals between depositors and borrowers, so the bank can solve this conflict by three rules. The first, <coughs> the first rule, size transformation. In this case, the bank can collect small size deposits, okay, and convert it into large loans. So imagine the gap between your saving account and the loan you want to purchase a house or vehicle. So in this case, the bank collect small size deposits, okay, maybe your deposit at a client. 5,000, maybe another client uh, 10,000, maybe client number 3, 20,000, okay, of pounds. And one client or one investor request 1 million as a loan. So in this case, the bank convert small size deposits, okay, and uh, collect small size deposits and transform into large loans. So in this case, the bank apply the size transformation principle by using economies of scale. This is very important concept, economies of scale. So economies of scale is a situation when the joint costs of production Joint costs of production or producing two complementary products, less than the combined costs of producing two output separately, and we will explain a problem to prove the relationship between joint production and separated production. So, in this figure, figure number one. Economies of scale. We have two curves, the red one marginal cost and the blue one average cost. In general, when you listen to the word marginal, when you listen to the word marginal, the word marginal equal change over change. Change in total costs divided change in production or change on output but the average cost you will remove change so in this case average costs equal total costs divided output in this case the optimal level optimal level the relationship when marginal costs equal average costs marginal cost equal average cost but before Y star, <coughs> before the level Y star, before the level y, y star, the average costs greater than marginal costs. So this area economies of a scale. After Y star, after Y star, 
the marginal costs greater than average costs so this area diseconomies of scale in general economies of scale good news for supplier or producer in our example good news for bank after Y star this area we talk about this economies of scale this economies of scale when the marginal costs greater than average and um, this is bad news bad news for supplier or producer okay problem number one suppose the bank bank a supplies two services loan services q1 and trade finance services q2 the following equations c1 c2 and c joint production q1 and q2 c1 or cost number one for the loan services loan services equal q1 equal 5 plus 2 q1 5 in this case fixed costs 5 in this case equal fixed costs 2 q1 in this case equal variable costs so this is the cost function for loan cost function for trade finance this is product number 2 equal 5 plus 3 q2 so in this case 5 fixed costs and 3q2 equal variable costs cq1 and q2 when we produce the joint production q1 and q2 equal 10 at the fixed costs 3q1 variable costs 2q1 to 2q2 variable cost consider two output levels so out when output levels one or two so what about your choices you can produce 1q1 and 1q2 1q1 and 2q2 2q1 and 1q2 2q1 and 2q2 so we talk about four choices what about the required number one design a table and calculate the cost based on functions classify, uh, classify uh, each case into constant return to scale or increasing or decreasing select the optimal level okay this is the answer what about inputs as we mentioned before that they consider two output levels one and two so our options one 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 two two one two two the first value refers to quantity of q1 the second value refers to the quantity or the value of q2 what about c1 q1 c1 q1 this equation but c1 q1 when the q1 equal 1 and q2 equal 2 okay when q1 equal 1 so the output equal 5 plus 2 multiply 1 so the output equal 7 yes 7 at the same case what about the value of costs for q2 when q2 is the same equal 1 go to equation of q2 when q2 equal 1 so 5 plus 3 times 1 equal 8 5 plus 3 equal 8 yes 8 what about this column this column when c1 plus c2 submission submission of c1 and c2 7 plus 8 equal 15 7 plus 8 equal 15 this is calculated by submission of c1 and c2 the next what about joint production when this bank provide two products jointly so, but when q1 equal 1 and q2 is the same equal 1 so 10 plus 3 multiply 1 equal 3 2 multiply 1 equal 2 so the output equal 15 join it equal 15 
Okay, take care. Summation of separated, 7 plus 8 equal 15. The calculation of join it equal 15. When the value of costs for separated equal join it, this case CRS. CRS equal constant return to scale. Constant stands for constant return to scale. Okay. The next, or this case, join it equal separated repeated in the last case 2 2. So when Q1 equal 2, when Q2 equal 2, cost 1 equal 9, cost 2 equal 11, and submission of separated equal 20. What about the join it? Yeah, it's the same, equal 20. So in this case, CRS. When submission of separated costs equal the value of join it costs. Case number two. When Q1 equal 1, yes, the same value, 7. But in this case, Q2 equal 2. So we will replace Q2 with the value 2. So 5 plus 3 multiply 2. 3 multiply 2 equal 6 plus 5 equal 11. So the value in this case equal 11. Summation. 7 plus 11 equal 18. What about the joint costs? Joint costs when Q1 equal 1 and Q2 equal 2 equal 17. What about classifications? IRS, increasing return to scale. Why increasing return to scale? Because the value of joint costs 17 lower than the value of separated costs and this is good for producer good news for producer or supplier or our example bank case number three when q1 equal 2 and q2 equal 1 c1 q1 equal 9 c2 q2 equal 8 so the value equals 17 but in this case the joint production 18 greater than summation of separated 17 so in this case decreasing return to scale so where is the optimal level the optimal level or economies of scale irs why irs because the value of costs in case of joint production lower than the value of costs in separated production so we recommend this bank to produce 1q1 and 2q2 the next what about maturity transformation remember we present in the first chapter or in the first section definition of bank at the financial intermediary between two parts or two units supply side and shorted or the shortage side and the surplus side demand and supply so the bank can bridge the gap or solve the conflict between borrowers and savers or depositors by the following number one small or, or size transformation in case of size transformation, the bank collect small size deposits and converted or transformed into the uh, large loans by using what? By using economies of scale principle. By using economies of scale principle. What do we mean by economies of scale? The case when the costs of joint production lower than the cost of separated production for two products. Okay. <coughs> the second rule for the bank, maturity transformation. What do we mean by maturity transformation? In this case, we focus on time for 
maturity transformation, we focus on time. So, banks are said to borrow short and lend long. So, in this case, maybe there is a mismatch between the assets and liabilities. For the same, we can use the following. Banks can collect short-term funds or deposits and convert it into or transform into medium and longer-term loans. So, in this case, for maturity transformation, we focus on time, not size. In the first rule, we explain the size transformation, but in this rule, maturity, we talk about the time or the transformation from short-term funds into medium and longer-term loans. For example, when we talk about the funds for short-term, like demand deposits, okay, when, we, when the bank convert the demand deposits to the 25-year resident mortgage, so there is a difference between the time, between the deposit time, this is short term, and residential mortgage, this is long term. Okay. Banks engage in the maturity transformation to earn the gap between interest income and interest expenses. This is very important. Interest income and interest expenses. So, in this case, in general, when we talk about the income statements and balance sheet for the bank, mainly the balance sheet. Balance sheet for the bank different for any balance sheet for any firm. So, what about the asset when we talk about, when we define the bank as accepting deposits, okay, and offering or providing loans, okay. Deposits, reported in which side in the bank balance sheet? Deposits, reported in the which side in the balance sheet? In this case, when we talk, when we talk about deposits, deposits for bank equal liabilities. Deposits for bank equal liabilities. Okay? Because this is the source of fund, the source of money for the bank. Deposits reported in liability side in the balance sheet for the bank. But what about loans? Loans for banks reported on asset side. Okay? So, <coughs> we will use the word the bank at this example okay this is problem number one two given the following simple simple balance sheet for the bank okay this is the simple balance sheet for the bank the values in billions of dollars okay when I when I said that the, the bank today pays four percent pays when the bank pays in this case we talk about deposits the bank pays in this case we talk about deposits deposits reported on into liability side on the other hand the bank receives receives eight percent so in this case receives eight percent from the loans and loans reported on the asset side. So, deposits reported on liabilities and loans reported on the asset side. <coughs> In general, we classify assets and liabilities into two main categories, sensitive and fixed. What do we mean by sensitive? Sensitive equal fluctuated. When the interest rate decline or increase, the same the interest decline or increase. But fixed 
no relationship with any modification in the interest rate. For example, you make a contract with the bank or a deposit for the bank with fixed return, say 10% for five years. In this case, fixed return, so no relationship with any decision from the central bank. If the interest rate increase or decrease, you earn this fixed. So in this case, maybe assets. We classify assets into sensitive, sensitive equal fluctuated for the uh, any modification in the interest rate and fix it. Fix it, no relationship. No relationship. The same for liabilities. We converted liabilities into sensitive and fix it. Sensitive. So, any modification in the interest rate, there is a high response or the same modification for this liability, but fix it, no relationship. Back to our problem. Sensitive asset, the value equal 15 billions. Fixed assets, the value equals 60, so the total equals 75. Sensitive liabilities equal 25. Fixed liabilities equal 50, so the value equals 75. So, in this case, to measure the bank profitability, we focus only, we focus only on sensitive assets and sensitive liabilities sensitive assets and sensitive liabilities okay calculate the immediate profit assess the gap this is required assess the gap when the central bank pushes up the interest rate by two percent on each side assess the gap this is case number three when the central bank pushes up interest rate again by 1%. Okay, what about our answer? P or L? P, profit. L, loss. Equal interest rate on sensitive assets minus interest rate on sensitive liabilities. All in all, interest rate on sensitive assets, IRSA, when we talk about revenues for the bank. Interest rate on sensitive liabilities when we talk about expenses for the bank. Okay, what about IRSA? IRSA, interest rate on assets. Okay, in this case we talk about 8%. 8% multiply sensitive assets, 15. Okay. So 8 multiply 8% multiply 15. We talk about the sensitive assets or revenues. Minus what about the value of liabilities? Liabilities we talk about the payment from the bank. 25 billions. 25 billions. What about the rate 4% for liabilities? So 25 billions multiply 4%. The gap equal 200 million as a profit. 200 million as a profit. Okay, this is the first case. The second, when the central bank increase or pushes up the interest rate by 2% on each side, okay? So, the 8% converted to 10 because the interest bank increased the central bank increased 2%. So the 8% converted to 10, 4% converted to 6%. What about the gap? The gap equals zero. So <coughs> we started with 200 million as a profit, but the second case we took about zero, no profit, no loss, no profit, no loss. Case number three, when the central bank pushes up the interest rate by another 1%, so we will increase the interest rate from 10 
to 11 from 6% to 7% what about the, the the output the output equal negative 1 million negative 1 million in this case equal loss so we started with 200 million as a profit central bank increased the interest rate by 2% so the value equals 0 another increase by 1% the output equal negative 1 million this is a loss but remember the first or the main assumption in our case the central bank increase 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 interest rate so the next problem problem 1 3 the same givens but different different assumption so we assume in the second case or problem 1 3 that the central bank decrease decrease the interest rate so the same givens we started with 200 million as a profit okay the same with the first case but what what happened with the central bank pushes down the interest rate by one percent so when the interest rate in the first case 8% converted to 7 4% converted to 3 so in this case we took about profit by 300 million so the first case 200 million as a profit the second case increasing in profits and equals 300 million case number 3 another increasing in the uh, another decreasing in the interest rate by 1% so 7% converted to 6%, 3% converted to 2%. What about the gap? The gap equal 400 million. 400 million as a profit. So based on based on this case for this bank. Based on this case for this bank. In this case when the central bank increase the interest rate bad news for this bank because we transformed from 200 million as a profit zero negative 100 but when the central bank decrease decrease the interest rate we transformed from 200 million as a profit 300 million and 400 million <coughs> so remember we started with the first rule size transformation the bank okay collect small size deposits and convert it into large sized loans by using economies of scale the second rule when we talk about maturity transformation we focus on time so the bank converted or transformed short-term deposits okay into medium and long-term loans the rule number three when we talk about risk transformation risk in this case mainly we talk about credit risk credit risk this is a risk of default okay credit risk in very simple words inability to pay the loan inability to pay the loan so this risk may not be able to repay the loan the client or the uh, borrower may, may not be able to repay the loan in this case we we'll talk about the credit risk when depositors wish to minimize the risk in this case we we'll talk about the save heaven save heaven okay when the bank lend the risky clients in this case we talk about more risk for the bank more risk for the bank and the bank collect information about clients to handle or to, to control the risk in this case banks can minimize the credit risk by the following number one diversing the investment or diversity of investment okay to decrease or to minimize the risk 
and pooling the risk pooling the risk and the screening and monitoring the borrowers when we talk about rating the concept of rating okay we classify clients or borrowers into categories based on creditability level maybe this is highest creditability level in this case lowest lowest risk okay and the poor creditability level in this case highest risk okay in egypt for example in egypt if you have and if you want to get a bank to get a loan okay the bank check about your i score what about your i score what about your credibility level if you are a, an old customer or client in this case you have i score but what about if you are new client in this case you should provide the collateral and guarantee for the bank <laughs> Okay, regarding the credit risk in the household sector, countries that feature the combination of overvalued residential property markets and the highly in depth the household sector may be heading the towards a credit bubble. Credit bubble in this case, when we talk about economic crisis or financial crisis, because you provide your asset as a, 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 a guarantee or cluttered for the bank. So when increase the prices for this asset, in this case we talk about high creditability, but overvaluation for this asset may lead to credit bubble. <coughs> Okay, may, may uh, the overvaluation for assets may be lead to credit bubble. The uh, next point when we talk about banking theories, we will present five main theories about the bank and how can the bank use this theory. The first one, delegated and monitoring. Delegating and monitoring. In this case, for delegating and monitoring, in this case, this is the first, okay? This is the first delegating and monitoring case. In this case, any client or any borrower concerns with how you can invest your deposit in save heaven or decrease the risk so in this case in this case for first delegating and monitoring in this case we talk about the uh, theory that the banks or the city concerned was the role of banks as the poorer monitors so in this case we need to monitor the credit risk for me suppose i am a depositor okay and i want to lend my money for any client to monitor to monitor and check about the history for this borrower it 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 costly for me as an individual <coughs> it costly for me as an individual okay so in this case we talk about delegation. What do we mean by delegation? The delegation equal that the uh, savers or depositors delegate the bank to monitor the borrowers. So banks in this case play key role to monitor the borrower. What do we mean by monitor? Monitor equal investigate about the history, investigate about the payment or time, investigate about credibility level, and so on. The bank can monitor the borrowers by using economies of scale and collecting of information and data about the risk level. Okay, banks analyze the terms of delegation costs. Okay, and develop a theoretical model. So in this case, we talk about the uh, critical success factors for any bank. 
critical success factors for any bank to delegate or monitor the borrowers number one number one diversification among different investment and number two the size of bank the size of delegated bank when diversification for the bank increase good news and risk will decrease and the bank work with economies of scale and the same time when we talk about the size for bank when the bank or when the size of bank increase in this case the bank can use monitor and can uh, make a, a monitor and investigate about the credibility level and this is for very simple for the bank so there is a positive relationship between the bank size and the monitor level but what about who monitor the monitor so okay the depositor monitor the bank okay and in the or, uh, delegate the bank to monitor the borrower okay but central bank monitor the bank central bank monitor the bank in this case bank monitoring services concerns with development of project risks mainly we talk about the risks so the first theory the abstract when we talk about monitoring in this case it's it's costly for individual depositor to monitor the borrower monitor equal we check about the credibility level what about the history payment on time and so on so in this case the poor the uh, savers or depositors delegate the bank bank as a an inter professional institution to monitor the borrower monitor the borrower and check about the credibility level <coughs> The second theory for the bank information production information production in this case we talk about the relationship between demand and supply demand and supply demand and supply for the financial system so in this case the bank can provide reports financial ratios financial institutions and data about the financial system in this case the bank provide new product the bank provide new product about the market study industry industry analysis and macroeconomic environment and so on so in this case we talk about the bank generate professional information the bank as a source for professional reports professional reports about the market about the industry about the macroeconomics okay valuable uh, information in this case promising investment opportunities so there is a positive relationship between the information provided by banks and the investment report the investment opportunities the invest investment scale so in this case the reports by bank the reports by uh, provided by the bank may be not free may be not free so in this case we talk about another source for income for the bank the next without banks what happened without banks without banks we can talk about duplications of information duplications information so in this case the bank solve this duplication and we talk about one source of information one source of information banks collect data about clients and convert them into information and may add provided information to their product list okay so the bank can sell the bank can sell this report or reports about the information about the risk about the industry about the market and this is another product 
to banks. Liquidity transformation. Liquidity transformation. In this case, when we talk about liquidity transformation, equal intermediation activity used by banks and similar financial intermediation to manage the run problem or liquidity problem. Run problem or liquidity problem. When this problem happens, this problem when savers or depositors withdraw the deposits from a bank at the same time. Suppose, suppose the bank have, um, when we talk about the bank has uh, 100 clients or depositors, okay? All 100 clients or depositors want to withdraw, to withdraw all deposits now. In this, in this case, we talk about run problem or liquidity problem. But this case, this case cleared in the panic and economic crisis. And maybe in this case, insolvent for the bank and the crisis for the bank. How can the bank meet this problem? By cash reserves. By cash reserves. So, the next point when we talk about the bank provide financial claims to depositors that often greater liquidity characteristics compared to direct claims. So in this case, any bank deposit took about contract between the depositor and the bank. So for risk, for risk, the bank keep keep sufficient reserves the bank keep sufficient reserves to face this liquidity problem banks hold liabilities and assets of different liquidity features so in this case we talk about classification of assets and liabilities into uh, quick uh, liquidity medium liquidity and the uh, long liquidity Okay, so the cash, cash, it's very important for the bank to face the run problem or liquidity problem. How you can minimize the effects of liquidity problem? Okay, suppose in critical cases like nowadays when we talk about the uh, Russian Ukra Ukrainian uh, war. Okay, the war between Russia and Ukraine. In this case, what about the situation for banks on Ukraine? Okay, all depositors want to withdraw deposits from banks in Ukraine. So, in this case, the uh, banks or the central bank of uh, Ukraine can do the following. Number one, temporary shutdown of the bank branches. Temporary shutdown of bank branches. Number two, use cash reserves. Use cash reserves. And quick borrow from the other institution to get support. And ensure deposits by the government. In this case, this is very important. But the run problem, run problem or liquidity problem appeared in the case of wars, the case of crisis and so on theory number four consumption smoothing consumption smoothing what do we mean by this uh, theory in this case we talk about balance between balance between two points of time balance between two points of time the first one expenditure for today's needs and the second saving for the future so we compare between, say, I have 1,000 of Egyptian pound now. I have two options. Okay. I will purchase, purchase, purchase. So in this case, I will provide all my deposit into expenditure now. Another option, I can make a deposit for this value for maybe for uh, one year, for three months, okay, and the earn interest and make an expenditure in the future.
So we compare between immediate expenditure now or saving for the future and make expenditure in the future. So in other words, consumption is small thing focuses on the behavior of saving when earning a balanced way. Okay, for this figure, for this figure, this figure we, we took about the time, we took about the time, and income and consumption. We assume that consumption is fixed. We assume this is consumption is fixed, but the variable income, the green line, this is income. Okay, at the first stage, consumption greater than the income so what about your action borrow borrowing okay so we talk about college and buying home and another services and this time in this time when the consumption greater than income what about your solution borrowing maybe in the college to complete your education to purchase a home and so on the time or another stage in another stage the income greater than consumption so in this case we talk about saving saving for your working years saving for your work working years and saving increase in the first stage to reach to the maximum and then decline what about stage number three Stage number three, your consumption back again to greater than your income. In this case, we talk about the saving. The saving, in this case, in your time for retirement or over 60 years. Over 60 years, maybe your consumption greater than your income. Okay? So, in general, we talk about three stages. First one, borrowing when the consumption greater than the uh, income in this stage we talk about the college time or education and or you want to buy a home second stage your working years your saving increase to reach to the maximum and then decrease in this case all in all we talk about positive saving because your income greater than consumption the last stage in your retirement or over 60 years when you reach to over 60 maybe your consumption greater than your income and in this case this is this saving okay therefore banks are an institution that allow economic agents to smooth consumption okay you will think about your current your current stage and your future this is maybe you talk about small thing of consumption. Consumption small thing relates to the hypothesis of life cycle theory of saving. This is life cycle theory of saving. So in this case, the bank can provide products, can uh, provide uh, some services to help the agents or help the uh, depositors to smooth the consumption the last theory when we talk about commitment mechanisms commitment mechanism in this case we talk about or we classify banks into deposit taking institution dti dti stands for deposit taking institution dti and there are a monetary financial institution MFI so the bank DTI and MFI deposit taking and monetary financial institution in general banks play a key role in the economy performance at their deposit liabilities from major part of country's money supply and relevant to the central bank so with the central bank target any monetary policy in this case the commercial banks play the key role on this section banks deposit function at the money so in this case we talk about any expansion 
of bank deposits result an increase in the stock of money or the supply of money when the bank when the bank expanding in the credit okay in this case the supply of money for the economy increased monetary function of bank as a deposit justifies why deposit taking institution subject to hard regulations banks as a deposit taking institution subject to hard regulation and supervision from another banks okay this is the first chapter and in our textbook the following information about Credit Agricole Bank okay after you finish this chapter this is Credit Agricole Bank Credit Agricole Bank established in the year 2006 Credit Agricole provides retail corporate and investment banks when we talk about the Egyptian branch Egyptian branch okay the bank operates various segments investment retail assets and what about the net income net income for credit agricole bank equal 1.3 billion total assets equal 54.7 billion the egyptian bound case study for chapter number one when we talk about the gravel load index or gli Rebel laid index. This is GLI. GLI equal. We distinguish between intra trade and inter trade. To calculate this value, we use the rule one minus export minus import divided export plus import. But in this case, we talk about absolute case ignore the sign so this index between 0 and 1 this index between 0 and 1 so if the value of index lower than 0.5 we talk about enter trade if the value of index greater than 0.5 we talk about intra intra trade when the value equals zero this is pure enter when the value equal one this is pure enter